Jim Nielsen. Yeah, he was uh, First Nations uh, a defense. Cree. He was a Cree, I think. Cree, and, and uh, you would say he would be making about ten million dollars. Oh man, he he was he, here. Here's Jim, Jim Nielsen played twenty years in the National Hockey League. He was a stay-at-home defenseman. Get this, he was a stay-at-home defenseman, and he could score. I mean, nobody does. Nobody has that anymore. And he played 20 years in the National Hockey League. He was an all-star. And one year he got 10 goals. I mean, he got 44 points one year. Guys getting 44 points that are forwards now are getting like about $10 million. Yeah, so how much would a defenseman getting 44 points get? This guy would be getting $8 million a year. I, I must, I, I, and um, he, 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 I know I go on and on about him, and, but I remember I was, in, I was in the, he played when I was in the, uh, in the minors. And I, he was a big guy. He was a great big guy. They call him Chief. I never, I never met him, actually, to tell you the truth. But I'll tell you, boy, he was, he was quite a hockey player. And, I, and I, I have to tell you this story. Now, you have to take this, you have to take it as, um, this, was hap- this happened about, oh, I'd say about 20, 30 years ago. Red Fisher, who wrote for the Montreal Gazette, uh, was a great sports writer. He, he could, and I, would, I used to, every time Boston went in to Montreal, I'd always read his, his columns. It was always great. He, he did it in a great job. And him and Glenn Sather, and I hope I'm getting this right, Glenn Sather used to go fishing all the time and hunting. I don't think he went hunting, but I think they went fishing. Anyhow, and Red Fisher was a great um, admirer of, of uh, Indian painting. Or native painting, or what? we'll call them First Nations paintings. Oh, First Nation painting. Anyhow, is that what they call them? First Nation. First Anyhow, Nations. he was a great Indian painting. It was just beautiful. You have to think about this. this was about thirty years ago, and, and <laughs> so Glenn Sather was always playing jokes on everybody all the time. And he, he was, he, I guess, he could when he was winning all the time. And so and now, remember what I said that. Um, uh, and they used to, do, Indians used to do great paintings and things like that. And he was always, a, and so uh, he says, I, and they went fishing or something. And Glenn Sater says to Red Fisher, he says, I'm going to get you a great picture or a, 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 of an Indian painting. And he, got, he went to Jim Nielsen. He said, would you do me a job? Just let on your painting, your barn, and send me a picture. <laughs> and he sent it to Red Fisher. Hey, here's me. It's a picture I promised you of an Indian painting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. And he had Jim Nielsen. He was, um, he was, uh, he is, um, they call him Chief, eh? And he was a Cree. And um, he played for the, he was in the, he got drafted in the Rangers system. He played 12 years for the Rangers. And he was an all-star. He got 44 points, like I said. 10 goals. 10 goals. I mean, that, back in those days, you never, nobody did that. Uh, he was always a contender. He played with Gretzky near the end of his career. He would, you know, at near the end of his career, he played and um, he would always do uh, charity. He was always a great guy for charity. And he used to play a game's charity, and he used to give the money um, he was, um, to the ch- charity. And that's the kind of guy he was, and he died this year. And um, he was a great guy, and it fits right in with our sponsor. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was sad. And again, you know, you just how many guys you look back and they just say, "If I was born in another era, I'd be making." Oh, so much, so I, much. I could. I someday I'll start doing this, the guys. But I have to tell you a story about um, Gary Peters, who phoned me. Now, Gary Peters was a great. Uh, uh, no, he wasn't a great, but he was a good hockey player. No, no he, he, there's one guy who'd be making about four million dollars. So anyhow, he phoned me. And he told me about uh, Jim Nielsen. So I have to tell you a story about uh, Gary, Gary Peters. He played for the Boston Braves, which was in the American Hockey League. And I was trying to make a comeback because I had no money. And so I was trying to make a comeback. I think I was 36 years old. 36, imagine that, how sad. Imagine 36 years old. Trying and you were playing in the Rochester Americans. Rochester Americans. And, First, first four games, I did pretty good. I was, I was plus four, and I had four points anyhow. And that doesn't matter. So I'm not playing near the end. I'll never forget this. <laughs> it's one of those things you never forgot uh, if, if you're in life. And 
I remember I sat there for the whole period. I sat for the first period, I sat for the second period, and I sat for the third period. In the Boston, nobody's there, nobody's watching, nobody cares, it's nothing game. Their first place, I think, and they, they had a pretty good club, and we, we, weren't, we weren't making the playoffs. But anyhow, I'm sitting there, and he, Doug Adams was the coach. He was so sick of our, us not scoring on the power play. I don't know why he, why he would do this, because he played the game. He said, Cherry, go out and play left wing on the power play. I'd sat there for, for the whole game, and the last two minutes he sends me out, I, I, and he was, because he was sick of the other, he was sick of the guys that on the power play. So as I went out, I said, dear God, don't let me make a fool of myself. Just don't. And it was a face off in their end. I'll never forget it. Face in the, in the right hand corner, looking in. And the puck, I don't have the puck come to me. It was like a hot biscuit. The, sure enough, the guy's the left wing. He pulls the puck back. But I get the puck. I said, oh, what am I going to do? So I I talked about you. I talked about the maybe they, maybe the guys let me. I don't know. <laughs> anyhow, maybe the old guy they felt sorry for. I don't think so. But anyhow, I faked the guy coming out the the winger coming out, and I walked around. I get I faked the defenseman again, and he went one way, and maybe he didn't. And I come in on that goalie. This is this is unbelievable. And I faked he was going to put it in the right hand shot, and he moved over, and I slid it home, and I scored. I scored, and, and I'll never forget it. I skated back, you know, and I'm my own worst enemy. Instead of enjoying the thing, I skated back to the bench, sat on the bench as if to say, yeah, yeah, I'm an old guy. I know you. I sat me there, and I sat down. And I, now, where does Gary Peters come into this? Well, Gary Peters was playing for the Boston Braves. And, he, and it was, you could hear, you could hear, there was, it was empty. The Boston Gardens was empty. And I never forgot, he said, and I was wearing, hey, watch out for that number two. He's pretty dangerous. <laughs> and every, all the, both players laughed. But I never forgot was, that. That was maybe one of your last shifts. I think it was the last. I was thinking could have been. Yeah, because right after that, Doug Adams was watching or walking. I think we we're getting beat. I wasn't playing. That was the night. I, and I wasn't playing. And... Um, he, in the boss in the Rochester Americans, you had to go from the dressing room. You had to walk in front of the crowd, and some couple of guys jumped up and smacked him. And so he didn't want to coach it. Why coach it? I think how many games is left? It was thirty games left. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to continue this. This is every night, every time I was away, I would always phone Rose and say, "I'm going to be late." Or after practice, I'm always phoned and I always said, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. And I, she knew I was, you know, alive anyhow. This time, uh, Donnie, no, Bobby Blackburn was a defenseman. He wasn't, he was over 26 too. And, and, uh, and he, him and I went out drinking. Well, one led to another. And I said, well, I better phone. Well, you will have one more. And the first thing you know, I didn't phone home. The only time that I remember that not phoning home and telling Rose I was going to be late, right? So we, I get pretty smashed. and Well, I shouldn't say. But anyhow, I got feeling pretty good. And I come home at 2 a.m. And Rose is waiting for me there. And she, and she never got mad. But she's embarrassed because... Doug Adams and uh, what was the other guy? Sullivan. Mike Sullivan had been phoning. He was the assistant coach or PR or something. He they were phoning home all every hour to find out where it was. Now she and Rose doesn't know where I am. Oh boy! And you know I I'm stiffer in ability. Well, shit, I was pretty stiff. So I remember I came home and uh, she's waiting there for me. She's just ripping to me, and I knew. I knew I was. I knew they wanted me to coach because I knew he didn't want to be coaching me. If he was going to fire me, he would have fired me the next day. I knew they were good. So I remember um, uh, that night we went to a diner or something. And I, had a, <laughs> I hadn't eaten since twelve o'clock. I had a pie, an apple pie, I think, or something. Away, and we wanted you to be coach and everything. He didn't care. He saved money. I never got any more money. Much go on about that and everything like that. And I come home, and I said, well, I remember when Rose 
Boy, she was mad. That's the only time she ever gave me a heck. Oh, no, another time. And she said, you, oh, she called me names and everything. I said, don't worry, Rose, don't worry. But don't worry, we don't have any money. No, you don't worry about your kids and all that, <laughs> going to college and all that. I said, don't worry about a thing. When I come back, I'll be coached. You won't be coached. But I know I'm rambling here, but that, that was the same night. Uh, and then Doug Adams, and I was made coach to the, the following, I had, I, and I was, you can imagine what I looked like the, the next morning. I had to go and they had to announce I was a coach. <laughs> and I remember back, of the, a reporter asked me, so what do you think, how do you think Cherry will do? And I remember Doug Adams saying, oh, I don't know. They're hired to be fired. <laughs> I never forgot that. And then, that. what, three years later, you were coaching Bobby Orr? Three years later, and, and, as I, and, and the thing, I was coaching the greatest hockey player who ever lived, Bobby Orr, three years and they say there is no god and i and i and, but that was the one time i didn't phone home and boy was rose mad at me i'll never she didn't get mad at me too often or she didn't get mad and ripped me too bad but she ripped me that day and i deserved it talked about to our sponsors thanks very much for spreads.ca a first nations owned online casino and sports book tailored to canadian businesses which means you can Use Canadian That's a native business, eh? Yeah, at First Nations in Quebec. So sign up now and enter the promo code Grapes, and they'll match your deposit one hundred percent up to five hundred bucks. So if you put in fifty bucks, they'll match fifty bucks. You get fifteen free spins on there. You no, know, I, I had excuse. I hate to interrupt him, but I've got asked by a lot of people how if I want to put fifty bucks on uh, Green Bay, uh, you know, playing. How do I do it, dude? Just tell you. Just tell us one more time. So you go on to Spreads, S-P-R-E-A-D. Now how do you get on Spreads with this? Well, you got to go on the computer. Computer. Okay, okay. you got to go I'm on Google. You got to go on Google or you got to go on a search engine. Go to Spreads, S-P-R-E-A-D-S dot C-A, and then you have to log in. or you gotta, It's easy, eh? It's easy. Yeah, and then you sign in, and then you put your email address and a password. And then you have to put some money in to the pot, so you do it through your... You know, you could do it through PayPal or Visa or credit card. Or you can use your credit card, eh? Right. And then once that's in there, you go onto the sports book page, and then they have just um, everything from. It's easy though. I don't. Oh, very easy. You can. It's got everything from. I mean, from hockey right now, it's playing over in Europe to Irish hurling to. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got just about everything, and then they also have a casino if you want to play blackjack or or anything like that. 